Hello all, let's progress with some of the easy mnemonics to memorize the biology contents. Okay, so we'll see some of the topic mnemonics here will be covered. So many people will be confused with uh, knowing about the essential amino acids. So let us make it easy about essential amino acids. We already know these are the amino acids are not produced in our body that has to be taken through diet. So essential amino acids. I'll tell you the very easy, easiest mnemonic. Okay. So if you take this essential mnemonic, uh, essential amino acids, the person called Matt, Matt will fly. Okay. So that is like Matt will fly. So let, let us write here. M A T T. This is Matt. P I L. Matt will. P H L Y. Matt will fly. Okay. So how to complete this entire thing is. So the reminding this mnemonic is very easy. So Matt will fly. Okay. So for M it is methionine. This is methionine. Methionine. And next. For T. For, sorry. For A. It is arginine. Methionine. Arginine. And next. We have two T's here. Trionine and tryptophan. Trionine and tryptophan. Got it? Next, V for valin. Valin. And isoleucin as well as leucin. Isoleucin as well as leucin. And P for phenylalanine. Phenylalanine. And H for histidine. And you have to combine this LY. Lysine. So that's it about the very essential amino acid mnemonic. Matt will fly. Matt will fly. So methionine, arginine, threonine, tryptophan, valin, isoleucine, leucine. Phenylalanine, histidine, and lysine. And the next mnemonic. So this is uh, not the mnemonic, just like uh, to remind. So sodium. So for sodium, so we have the, usually many of them will be confused with the sodium that Sodium, okay. So, but uh, we have the chemical symbol, uh, symbol as Na. So, what is this Na and what is the sodium? So, Na means natrium. Natrium means sodium in Greek. So, that's why we call it, uh, that's why we have this Na, natrium. So, that's why you will be having hyponatremia. You have two words. Hyponatremia. Hyponatremia. Next, hypernatremia. Got it? Hyponatremia is decreased sodium levels in the blood. Hypernatremia is increased sodium levels in the blood. Whenever you have emia, which is denoting the blood, for example, anemia, decreased amount of hemoglobin in the blood. So anemia. Emia is the word related to the blood. So you can remind like that. And next. So the next mnemonic is regarding the taxonomical hierarchy. So regarding the taxonomical hierarchy.
Okay. So here we have the first. So you just remind like always we have this kingdom. And next to kingdom we have phylum. Phylum is for animals and uh, division is for plants. Class, order, family, genus, species. So totally we have the seven according to NCRT, but uh, kingdom and phylum we can remind because it is very easy. Initially, we have the kingdom. Immediately after the kingdom, we get the phylum. Many And genus species also, because in the binomial nomenclature, we write it as by two names. One is genus and other one is species. The main problem we will be having is class, order, and family. So this, many of them will get confused. I'll tell you a very easy mnemonic for this. The teacher came to the class. The teacher came to the class and ordered the students to bring their family. Okay, so after that, uh, the family came and the family members are homo sapiens, genus and species. So you can remind, many of them are, will be confused with this class, order and family. Remind this mnemonic, the teacher came to the class and ordered the students to bring their family tomorrow. Okay, so like that you can remind this. And the next mnemonic is so to remind the phases of mitosis. So for mitosis, okay, phases of mitosis. So to remind the phases of mitosis, we have uh, interphase, prophase, metaphase. Anaphase, anaphase, okay, and telophase. Okay, so I will tell you a very, very easy mnemonic for this. I for interface, right? Interface and P for prophase, M for metaphase. And A for anaphase. And again, T for telophase. The very easiest mnemonic for this is I prefer milk. I prefer milk and tea. Got it? I prefer milk and tea. I prefer milk and tea. So, like that, you can remind this. I prefer milk and tea. Okay, so I prefer milk and tea. So that is the mnemonic for phases of mitosis. And next, so you'll be having a very easy mnemonic here. This is regarding the Krupp cycle. So let me draw you the citrate. Isocitrate, ketoglutamate, succinyl CoA, succinyl CoA. Succinate, fumarate, fumarate, malate, oxaloacetate. Okay, so to remind this is quite difficult. Citrate to isocitrate. 
ఐసోసిట్రేట్ టు కీటో గ్రూటామేట్ క్లీటో గ్రూటామేట్ టు సక్సినైల్ పోయే సక్సినైల్ పోయే టు సక్సినేట్ సక్సినేట్ టు ఫ్యూమరేట్ ఫ్యూమరేట్ టు మ్యాలేట్ మ్యాలేట్ టు ఆక్సులోస్టేట్ ఆక్సులోస్టేట్ టు సిట్రేట్ సో యూ కెన్ దిస్ ఇస్ యాక్చువల్లీ క్రప్ సైకిల్ సో వాట్ వి ఆర్ టెలింగ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ క్రప్ సైకిల్ క్రప్ సైకిల్ ఇస్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ సైకిల్ సో ఫార్ ఇన్ రెస్పిరేషన్ ఓకే సో ద న్యూమోనిక్ హియర్ ఈస్ so let me tell you in the next or else i'll write it here itself citrate is citrate is krebs stable substrate citrate is krebs stable substrate for making for making oxaloacetate citrate is krebs stable substrate for making oxaloacetate that's it citrate isocitrate keto glutamate succinyl coa succinate fumarate malate oxaloacetate citrate is krebs stable substrate for making oxaloacetate so this is the very easy mnemonic for crab cycle okay citrate is crab stable compound crab stable substrate for making oxaloacetate so this is very easy and interesting mnemonic and next mnemonic so i already told you this mnemonic regarding the percentage of wbc so this mnemonic is for percentage of wbc so we have uh, many of them will be confused to knowing this percentage like uh, neutrophils is 60 percentage and lymphocytes is 30 percentage monocytes is 6 percentage eosinophils is 3 percentage and basophils is 1 percentage so you can remind this like never let monkeys eat bananas never let monkeys eat bananas okay so n for neutrophil never let monkeys eat banana neutrophils lymphocytes monocytes eosinophils basophils never let monkeys eat banana neutrophils are 60 percentage and 30 percentage is lymphocytes and monocytes is 6 percentage you can remind this like a 6 again here and eosinophils is 3 percentage and basophils is finally 1 percentage so if you count you will be getting 100 so this is the percentage of wbc to remind never let monkeys eat bananas okay and the next mnemonic so the next mnemonic is seven up this is also very easy mnemonic for reminding the parts of male reproductive system so that is seven up s for so i'm writing here up if you remain seven up then you can remind the parts of male reproductive system okay here are the parts seminiferous tubules e for epididymis
V for vast difference. E for ejaculatory duct. So there is nothing for N. Okay. You have to leave the N. U for urethra. And P for penis. So this is 7 up. So to remind the parts of male reproductive system. And next mnemonic is regarding nitrogenous bases. So this also very, uh, many of the people will be confused with this one also. The nitrogenous basis, we have two things. One is purines and other one is pyramidins. So purines are, so you'll be having which is uh, like thymine, which is uracil and uh, which is purine and pyrimidine. So many of them will be having a doubt in this. And uh, that is, so let's cytosine, thymine, adenine and guanine. So don't get confused. Just remind for pyramids, it is C-U-T, cut. Okay. So and the remaining is A-G, adenine and guanine. C-U-T cut for pyramidins. So pyramid cut. So remind like that. And C for cytosin. So cysteine is an amino acid. Cytosin is a pyramidal, nitrogenous base. So you have to find the difference. U for uracil. T for thymine. And this A for adenine. And thymine. So sorry. And Guanine. So adenine and guanine are purines. Cytosin, uracil and thymine are pyrimidins. And don't forget, while writing this thymine, the vitamin B1 also we call it as thymine. That is thymine. So both will be spelling similar, but both are different. So both are different. There is no nothing equality between. This is vitamin B1. And this is a nitrogenous base, you have to remind. And we have like similar terminology if you take. Renin, okay, versus renin. So this is an enzyme. This is enzyme. Enzyme for curdling of the milk. And this is a hormone. hormone produced by the kidneys and same thing thymine versus thiamine so this is nitrogenous base pyrimidine and this is sorry sorry this is nitrogenous base pyrimidine and this is vitamin b1 thiamine so, which which we get berry berry. This is thymine and this is also thymine. And one more terminology. Ileus versus ileum. This also looks similar. This is actually a bone. Pelvic bone. Part of pelvic bone. And this is actually a part of digestive system. These are similar terms you will be hearing often. Okay. So I hope this tips will be uh, very helpful for you regarding this. So that uh, from the next time, if you see any word, you will be reminding very easily. Like many of the, at the time of exam, uh, we'll be getting a confusion. So if, uh, this mnemonics will help you a lot, actually. Okay. So if you have any doubts or for anything you need a mnemonic, 
So you can put it in the comment box. I'll make a mnemonic for that. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much.